What's up, YouTube, or for my Nepali-speaking friends? Okay. Tube, welcome back to my blog, Strongest Man, where we discuss using all the implements around your home and your yard to get in that exercise and burn those calories. Remember, burning some calories is better than burning no calories. So what I wanted to do today is do another feed of strength. So I haven't done one of those in a couple episodes, and I thought I should get back to that main theme. And so what I thought might be fun would be to do a farmer's walk this time. So what I thought, let me try to do more of an everyman type of weight with this. And so I thought what would be cool would be to try carrying 100 pounds, so 50 pounds in each hand hanging down from each side, carry 100 pounds, 100 feet. And then once I get to that 100 feet, pick up 100 kilos and carry that back as far back of that 100 feet as I possibly can do. Now, I'll tell you right now, in setting the weights up in the past to kind of practice this, I can tell you the 100 pounds is pretty easy for me, not a big challenge. The 100 kilos is incredibly hard. And for those of you who have watched my deadlift video, yes, that's a straight barbell out in front of me instead of two weights, one down on each side of me, so it's a little bit different, but 100 kilos is a lot of weight uh, for an everyday person who's never trained in these things before. And so, again, 100 pounds, 50 in each hand, take it down 100 feet of distance, pick up 100 kilos, which is 220 pounds, 110 in each hand, and come back as far as I can of that 100 feet. So, as always, really important with these kinds of things, you want to warm up properly. So when I get out there, I'll set up the camera, I'll do all my warm up and have that all done before I begin and do this exhibition for you so that you can rest assured and trust that I've run some laps back and forth, done some jumping chaps and, and really warmed up my body properly, maybe even lifted some lighter weights to get my body ready to do this so I'm not going to be shocking my back, for example, in trying to do this for you. So now that we have this kind of cool goal in mind, why don't we head outside and see how well I can do uh, against this objective. So let's go take a look. So here we are outside where I'm preparing the uh, the run. And so you'll see, you'll start to see the 100 kilo weights off in the far distance. That's about 100 feet away. And the way that I'm able to measure that is each sidewalk plate is five feet. And so I just kind of measure each sidewalk plate. I position the camera and then I position the weights 100 feet away. And that's how, that's how I'm able to measure uh, what the distance is. So I got my camera up on my tripod, have my gloves on for safety. And you'll see that I'm getting ready to to prepare to take to pick up the weights now, and so I'm going to I'm going to grab these uh, the hundred pounds and off I go. So you'll see I'm able to run with them. It's really no problem. Uh, I don't even have them dangling. I have my elbows bent a bit, so I get them all the way down the hundred feet, and then now I'm going to turn around and pick up the hundred kilos and try to return and so just again keeping in mind this is over twice the weight so my my grip starts to fail here it's not really any of my other muscles it's uh my my grip or my wrist strength that's starting to fail so getting them up and walking quickly with them at all i think was a success right and i can build on that so i pick them up and try again and that's kind of the the end of the run so i came back 20 of the 100 feet I could tell by measuring that on the sidewalk tiles again that are five feet each. And again, like, you know, a cool thing to try out. I thought I did pretty well. Uh, I was happy with my performance and we'll try again for better next time. So hopefully you found this enjoyable and, you know, a kind of a new take on weightlifting and what you can do in your yard with all the implements you have available to you. So. So that was fun, and we got to see how well I did against that objective of taking 100 pounds, 100 feet, and coming back with 100 kilos. So as you could see in the video outside, the 100 pounds was easy. I got to do like a jog almost run with them, no problem, and I was using my power blocks as I've introduced in other videos, and then picking up that 100 kilos to come back was a shockingly different amount of weight. 
So uh, I think I'll have to do some training with weights that are much closer to each other. Maybe I'll do 100 with 120 or something like that and build my way up until I can try this challenge once again in the future. But I hope you found this fun and exciting and kind of a different take on weightlifting, doing a strongman event, a farmer's walk, a classic strongman event, uh, kind of in your backyard or around your property, just using the sidewalk and using the weights that you have around the house. Uh, I may even try doing this with a couple of rocks or a couple of bricks just to show you don't even need massive amounts of weight plates to accomplish things like this. You can do it with lighter weights and build your way up and um, you know, buy a plate here and there as time goes and build it up over time or get larger and larger stones and do it or get rubber baskets that your, you know, local hardware store might have and put a couple of bricks in there so you can carry the basket. So there's different takes on this that you can really do. But again, I wanted to try this fun new 100, 100, 100 goal and see if I could do it, see how close I could do. I got the 50, uh, the 50 in each hand, the 100 pounds, the whole way and I got the 100 kilos about 20 feet back of the way so we'll keep that in mind as a target for next time to beat thanks again for joining me on my block strongest man hit subscribe like this video share it with everybody you know I really appreciate it and remember to hit the bell button for notifications of all my new videos and as always until next time ciao homie